the AI stuff should be able to uh, optimize the uh, function of implants. But, you know, uh, Dirk did a, a nice talk uh, here in the Napa Valley a couple years ago for Cynthia Kirsten's um, little group lecture. And he, he presented on the topic that, you know, I asked the question and he presented the topic. He, he had to leave, but uh, just before he left, he, he dropped this you know, cognitive bomb on the audience. And it starts out discussing the ability to implant memories. If you record a memory on one person, you can implant or play it back in another person. Now, that sounds like freaking total recall, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, you know uh, plunk in the memory of uh, that that's not yours, um, but it, it feels like yours because it's you're having the memory. Could he use um, that at finals time? As he started to talk about all the AI uh, and, and, and stimulation and all of that, it started to look a little bit more like Skynet, you know, <laughs> um, that there were people that were actually had they were triggered to a certain extent by the the idea of uh, somebody controlling their brain, which is not a new idea. Jose Delgado, uh, a, a neurosurgeon, many years ago, uh, put implants in the brains of bulls, and um, he would step into the bullfighting ring with a little box with a button on it. And they'd have this bull all enraged, you know, the picadors stick stuff in them, and they're all they're all blowing snot out their nose and pawing the ground. And and uh, so he steps into the ring. You know, he doesn't have all the shiny metal things on him. He's not he doesn't have a cape waving to try to distract the bull or anything. He's got a box with a button on it. And the bull looks around and he sees there's a freaking idiot in the bull ring. I'm gonna go get him, you know. And he's paws the ground and he starts to charge towards him. He hits the button. Comes to a, a immediate stop and goes, "What the hell was that?" <laughs> and then he looks around and says, "That stupid guy's still here." And he starts to go again. He, he, and two, three, four, you know, hits to the button. This bull is not going to go anywhere near him. Yeah, uh, you know, it, it stopped. It literally stopped his behavior. Uh, he wrote a book called "Control of the Human Brain," and you know, I, I used to actually go to the library to see who might have checked it out, <laughs> you know, because, you know, you, you want to kind of know who in your area is thinking about, you know, physical control of somebody else's brain. Um, but, you know, that's what medical implants basically are doing, uh, uh, usually to, to good effect with proper motivation. About the same time, the book Terminal Man came out. And uh, the book Terminal Man, um, a yeah, temporal lobe uh, epileptic who has violent, outrageous uh, behaviors, and uh, and they, they put on an implant to kind of stop that. Uh, but uh, eventually, he kind of works his way around the, the implant. It's, it, it's an interesting uh, twist on free will. You know, do we have free will? <laughs> you know, um, are our behaviors totally predicted? Was the were the Calvinists correct? Uh, this is all uh, predetermined. Uh, um, I I don't know that it's all predetermined. I, I, I sort of feel like I have free will. I can make a choice um, uh, one way or the other, and I can change my mind and make a different choice. It seems like I have free will. There are those that will say, well all the programming and what happened to you previously is determining in a way what you're going to be doing.